Today we're doing a demonstration with the Packmaster and how it functions. On the X35 monitor, we've got the drill control box up. That's this one right here. We're controlled the packing force. You can see that right there displayed. The white box here is the pressure we're trying to pack to. And these are the multiple settings we have that we set up in the settings, or you can use your plus minus buttons to change it by a preset increment. The little button with the arrow in the circles either turns Packmaster on or off. To raise and lower the openers, if we've got the green button with the two arrows is our up and down, so green is when it's engaged, red is when it's not engaged. The little button beside it with the lock on it, that locks it to the master switch. So when we raise and lower the openers, it's going to follow the master switch. We don't have to raise and lower them manually. So we're going to enable that. You can see that it's now yellow, so it's ready in the raised position. And we turn the master on, it lowers the openers. What we're seeing here, the little load cell of the wheel and the arrow going down, this box here, that's our packing pressure. That should match our target here. The pressure here is the hydraulic force that's going to be applied. <clears throat> and during our demonstration, we'll show how that pack force changes. Now we're set up and we're going to demonstrate Packmaster. So we've got the shank engaged. You can see that our pressure is 175 and that our hydraulic pressure is 797. So now we're going to apply some draft load to the shank. And you'll see that the pressure dropped shortly and then it, uh, the hydraulic pressure started to go up to compensate to keep it at that 175. And when you go back into softer ground or slow down, it decreases the draft on that shank. When you decrease the draft on that shank, it's going to drop the pressure required to keep that load cell at 175 pounds, and it'll drop back down. So it's not, a, not necessarily the type of ground you're going through that the packer's rolling through. It has more to do with draft force on the shank that's going to cause the hydraulic pressure to change as you go through different types of ground or if you speed up or slow down. Now we're going to demonstrate what it does when it's in controlling the hydraulic pressure. So we're not using the Packmaster sensor, we're controlling the hydraulic pressure. This would be equivalent to what we would do if we were running the 410 control box. So you can see I've set it to 1000 PSI, which gives us 186 pounds of packing. So now we're going to put some draft load on the shank and you will watch that the hydraulic pressure stays at a thousand psi but the packing force decreases because we're taking draft or we're adding draft to the shank which is taking packing away 